All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. Um, today in this video, we're going to be covering the last section of mechanics of materials, and that is the elastic and plastic deformation section. Um, so, and this will wrap things up. We got a bit technical um, in the last video dealing with more circle, um, but hopefully with this video, it'll be very straightforward. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into these practice problems. All right, so M number one says a steel rod of length one meter and diameter of 10 millimeters is subjected to a tensile force of 20 kilonewtons. The modulus of elasticity or of steel is 200 gigapascals. What is the elastic deformation in the rod? Okay. So what information are we given? We're given the length of the rod, given the diameter of the rod, the IA diameter. Um, we're given the tensile force and we're given the elasticity or modulus of elasticity. Okay. We're asked to find the deformation. All right. So Hopefully you've seen maybe this before. Very popular deformation question. So I just did a search for a deformation. And it's axial, so it's, um, this is gonna be on loading and deformation, but it's specifically this one, the elastic longitudinal deformation, where we are given, let's see if we know our, the information. So we're given the force, just P, the loading, so force, okay, we're given the length, of the member of this rod, given the area. Are we given the area? Maybe not. We're given the diameter, which if we're given the diameter of the rod, we can get the area that's being pressed on or loaded. And then we are given the modulus of elasticity. So I know which formula we now need. So we're going to just say deformation is equal to P L over A E. Okay. P is equal to 20 kilonewtons. And I like to put everything in newtons and everything in meters. So just keep everything in newtons and meters. Normally you're able to get your units to mesh well. If you're dealing with millimeters and meters and um, gigapascals and regular pascals, like it's gonna be confusing. So get everything in newtons and in meters if possible. Okay. So I got 20, kilonewtons or 20,000 newtons. Um, if you don't know what is what, we're gonna visit the unit conversion. We can just actually do that now. Unit conversion, so you're gonna search in your bar move my head down a little bit. I'm in the way. All right, so in your bookmarks, you can search unit conversions. 
on unit conversions. And we know that kilo is times 10 to the three. So that's all I did. I said kilo newtons is times 20 times 10 to the three or 20,000 newtons. Cool. So L is equal to what's the length? One meter. Very nice. What's A? A is equal to, okay, so we get a diameter. All right, so here's what's happening. You have a rod, all right, circular rod. And if you notice that rod has some type of loading coming on it, 20 kilonewtons coming down, but what the area that we're trying to find is this area. Right. It's being loaded. Yeah. So they give us the diameter of that circle, right? But we need the, the area. So how do we take our diameter and get area? Well, we do pi r squared. So area is equal to pi r squared, which is then equal to pi. What is r? r is going to be our diameter divided by two, which is five millimeters, or 0 0.005 meters. So I just changed it from millimeters to meters, pi r, and then squared. Okay, what is E? E is equal to mm, 200 gigapascals. Let's go back to A though. I didn't finish solving that. So. If we finish solving that, that's going to give us 7.85 times 10 to the negative 5 meters squared. All right. Okay. For E, uh, 200 gigapascals. Okay. I want, can we put this in meters and newtons? So I know that everything just kind of. Mesh as well. I know that one Pascal equals one Newton per. Let's see this. One Pascal. You're not. Okay. Uh, one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter squared. That makes sense. Pascal, one Newton per meter squared. So we have 200 gigapascals. Okay, so how do I get this just in regular Pascals? Or 200 times 10 to the ninth Pascals. And then how did I say, why did I say uh, 200 times 10 to the ninth? Well, what is a giga? is a giga to the ninth. We can always check. It's denoted by G, capital G, and it is 10 to the ninth. So that's where I'm getting this stuff from. Everything's typically coming from this handbook. Okay, so I know that one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter squared. So I can then, 200 times 10 to the ninth uh, Newtons per meter squared. All right, so let's plug. We have P, we have L, we have A, and we have E. Everything is in Newtons and in meters, so everything should cancel 
to get us into the units that we potentially could be be needing, which is meters. Okay. So let's plug. Equals. 20,000 newtons. One meter all over. Uh, 7.85. And don't be afraid of these units. Are these numbers? slowly write them out and get a you know don't don't forget anything don't rush through that's why practice is so so important okay so 7.85 times 10 to the negative fifth meters squared okay what is e well e is going to be our 200 times 10 to the ninth Newton over a meter squared. All right. So after plugging all that in, I get 0 0.00127. Great, but what are my units? Well, I see that my Newtons cancel, right? So now I'm left with meters, but how many meters? Meters squared, meters to the fourth, well, we have one meter on the top. And then our meters on the bottom, those seem to cancel. All right, meter squared over a meter squared leaves you with nothing. So that's how I get meters. So I get A for my answer. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.